Jeffrey here in Austin, Texas, at the corner of uh, Fort View and Menchaca. Uh, I think this is the first time I've done a video at this corner. Uh, happy Friday, everybody. I'm out here on errands. Beautiful day. That's Dan's hamburgers right there. A friend of mine has invited me to uh, Lunsdale more than once. That's been white that way, the highway been white. Uh, right down Fort View here, there's a building uh, that I used to go to uh, for AA. Uh, I didn't go to prison on no liquor related charge, you know. Uh, but the parole officer, parole officers can put you in any program at their discretion. So uh, anyway, I went and got the paper signed and uh, whenever I report to him, I showed him that I went. I think it was once, once a month. It used to be more than that, a couple times a month. Then he parole officer narrowed it down because he saw I was staying out of trouble. And uh, he eventually said, oh, you ain't got to go no more. Uh, and uh, once when I was in AA and they was uh, telling how they uh, maintaining sobriety and so forth, then I was always hoping they'd never call on me. Because <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't have that issue. I don't, I don't even like taste of wine and beer and all that. And, uh, but uh, my dad was a drunkard. I heard he passed away in 1968 due to complications. I think it messed up his liver. I never really knew him. I don't recall knowing him. But I, I, I got a picture of him on the wall with my mom. So that's my dad. I don't remember basically my first seven, eight years. Anyway, my memory kicked pick up at eight. I didn't remember too much at eight, but the reports, a report I seen said I got locked up in eight in a bars correction facility. And I remember vaguely some things about that. So ironically, my memory picked up at some bad. But I thank God that I'm, I'm changed now from going to institution a correction institution after another. Anyway, uh, one day when they was uh, asking people to speak, they got, they pointed to me. I said, when I got up, I said, I really don't have no alcoholic problem. Something to that essence. The guy said, well, why are you, why are you here? I said, because my parole officer want me going, you know, and <laughs> He understood, because other people went there to get signatures, too. But anyway, <laughs> I went. I'm, I'm trying to obey stipulations from parole. All right, I got no copyright music in the background. I'm glad I ain't got to go no more. When I was first released from prison, 2008, I stayed 32 years from 1976 to then. They put me on a monitor. I, I was upset. I said, ah, Lee, I done done all these years in 32 straight. Now I got to be on a monitor. Well, I went on and got on it. <laughs> to refuse is to go to jail. Uh, so I was on it. And it tracked my every move. And it's like drove me crazy. I didn't know how to work it. They didn't even really tell me how to work it. But I, uh, an old school guy that was at the halfway house, show me how to work it and show me what to do and not to do on it and uh one time i 22 days out of prison i went to jail on that monitor because mistakes you know the parole officer will give you the schedule and you can't deviate you got to go forward you know you can't backtrack and uh when i got back to my apartment I mean, back in the halfway house, I thought I left for money out on the bus. 
and went right back on that bus. That was a violation because my schedule was to go to where I'm gonna go and then come back and go back to the halfway house, not backtrack and get back on the bus looking for the, so that's, then uh, one, an, another violation was I made a mistake on it. I mistook a building they were working on for the social security office where I was going. So security office were next door. But I went through that building that they working on. What I do that for? Then, uh, but anyway, after three days, I mean, after 40 some days in jail, I got reinstated and I've been out of trouble ever since. Thank God. I've been out of trouble ever since 22 days, including 40 some in jail. Uh, I've been out of trouble ever since then, and that was like 2009. Oh! And, uh, after I got out of jail and they uh, got reinstated, you know, uh, I lived the monitor down. Different people started, I asked different people to write support letters for me to get off the monitor. Since I was doing good on it by maybe 12 or 13 months, 14 months, they took me off. I was so happy, <laughs> you know. I learned how I learned what not to do on it. All right, I got no copyright music in the background. I redid that a bit better. Okay, uh, I redid that, and uh, let me wipe the sweat. I'm doing this with my camcorder holding it. It says it's 73, I believe it said, but the. Chilly wind is too cold for me. Okay. Uh, I went to the store, got me some things. Uh, some beans is in there, tissue right there. Uh, I got some peanut butter. I got some crack, snack crackers. I got the peanut butter and snack crackers out of, I think they're in that bag at uh, Family Dollar General cause this is from Dollar Tree. They didn't have the snack crackers. Uh, they didn't have the snack crackers, crackers at Dollar Tree and the peanut butter. But they had some, some of that zero sugar, uh, zero sugar soda I got. I'm trying to watch, watch, watch that sugar. Okay. Uh, I went into a pawn. I went to a pawn shop looking for a tripod. I'm still looking for one that's suitable to me. And they gave, they gave, they were giving sodas and water and snacks. I got a, I got, I got that bottle of water right there and this. I wanted to get a soda. I said, no, don't go there. That was nice to hear them. I thanked them. Uh, Faithful, this faithful lock didn't want to lock on me. You know, some is forcing, some is in a way forcing it from going in. So this one I bought from the thrift store, thrift land came in handy. I bought it a few days ago, maybe yesterday, or maybe the day before. And I took it back because I told them the con common congregation combination don't work. Uh, it was four numbers on the outside, and I thought that was a combination. Let me show y'all. That was a combination there, 5032. But that's 5032 Doberman. So I took it back, and I know thrift stores usually don't give you 
returns, you know, and and uh, every day, every now and then, Warren McGee still critic, but uh, but uh, I said it ain't working, and the lady looked at it. He said, "No, that's not the combination. The combination is inside. It's inside. They ain't gonna just ain't gonna put the camera on it, but it's inside. You know, it's inside. You know, on the other side." Uh, that wasn't putting the camera on it, but uh, uh, exactly, exactly the same as this combination. It's the same as that combination. That's a coincidence, so it's gonna be easy to remember. But uh, uh, she said they ain't gonna put the combination on the front so people can open it. I said, well, I thought that was the combination on the front because nobody can open it that don't buy it. But she mentioned theft. You know, somebody can steal it, but I believe stores are starting to keep stuff like this in the, in the glass now, you know. But you learn something new every day. It do look like the manner in which a combination it will be put on something. <laughs> but now I learn something every day. I'm 66 and still learning. Okay, I'm on. I'm, I'm getting ready to go down uh, Min, Min Chaka to... to uh, to, to South Lamar, and I'm gonna ride my bike down to a bike store, a tricyclist. I want to catch the bus, I said, but no, nah, I don't want to be taking all that stuff out. Even though it's gonna take me 10 minutes, and I don't mind doing it if I really want to catch the bus, I just said, well, I want to ride, the, I want to ride, I want to ride the bike, you know. The worst I turn on Lamar, it's gonna be a lot of down here. Uh, but coming back the other way is long up here. Okay, uh, uh, I had a lady helping me this morning trying to double up, join videos on YouTube edit, editor as we clicked and she clicked and it was revealed that YouTube don't do that no more and, uh, but they, an app was recommended but that app cost and uh, she said, why, well, don't, why don't you just not worry about part one and part two? I said, I want it all in one video. He said, she said, some people just tell you they're giving you part one and part two is coming a week or so later. And she got a good point. Just as long as when I post part one and part two, just keep them together, you know. Post part two first on Facebook and then part one going to be on top of it. And if somebody want to... If uh, part one is interesting enough, as I told her, they're gonna want to follow up. Okay, uh, uh, she also encouraged me to just go in your time frame to, so it won't be too many minutes to go to a part two. So I, ain't, I didn't time myself, but I don't think I'm 30 minutes in, so I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna get a little, uh, I'm gonna get a little riding in and I rinsed, I rinsed, I, I rinsed out that rag. Cause it got wet now, I'm, I'm, I'm on my other rag. I'm on my other rag. Purple. I like my colors. Gray. I really don't know what, I think that's gray. That's a dip darker color gray. It may be some, no, it's, it may be a gray green. I know that's gray for sure. And that match, bottom of my tennis. White and white and white on the tennis. Blue and blue, purple and purple in the socks, pink in the socks and pink in the cap. Red right there on the handkerchief. Red in the socks. A brown in the belt. Socks. Brown in the belt. Red, oh I already said red. And so on. Let me just get on this. I ain't did a bit. I ain't did a video riding the bike in a up in my nostrils and my eyes. 
I may have to, I may have to uh, uh, eventually put on my goggles and mask. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm negative again, y'all. Now all this sniffing and stuff, that's because it's cold, not, okay, not COVID. I will go across the street before I show that. Uh, I will catch this, catch this light, save some time. the music stop it'll come back on but the phone be offering you everything so we'll let you know when new deals and updates are available I guess I guess I can just agree with that It gives, you, it gives you illustration up there what's, what's negative or not. That one line on the right with the minus is negative and that's what that's what was in my test. Praise the Lord. Oh, let me go back to the video. I'm going to put that in the back of this so my pocket won't turn it off.
Costa Activity Center. I ain't never been there though. Ooh, almost bit off again. Somebody was telling me the other day, I, maybe, maybe I should sit this a tripod down with the camera on it. So I can hold both hands. Hold handlebars with both hands. Well, I got. For the first time, and uh, my sister Jan posted a clip of Mama singing. I said, "Wow, she got that gift." <laughs> uh, surprised me, but uh, she had ten children. Some of us got talent. I don't have to get to singing, but I have an extreme love of music.